Hello everyone. I am Srinivasan from r and Engineering College. Uh, in this video session, I'm going to talk about instance-based relearning. Let us see what instance-based relearning. The instance-based relearning is a group of uh, machine learning algorithms. And here we use um, the instances or observations to address the problems. So instead of performing the explicit generalization, it compares the new problem with the existing problems and it applies the existing solutions uh, to the problems. Uh, we have different uh, techniques, um, including k-nearest neighbor algorithm, weighted regression algorithm, and a case-based reasoning algorithms. See, all of them are using these techniques to solve the new problems. So we are going to focus on the most popular instance-based relearning technique, that is k-nearest neighbor algorithms. See, we uh, k-nearest neighbor algorithm uh, is used to solve classification problems. Here, the k is the number of uh, neighbors which are used to uh, solve the classification problem. And it uses the majority voting process to determine the outcome of the method. So look at the method, uh, look at the core principle of k-nearest neighbor algorithms. So we take the uh, all training data set and we have to find out the uh, k closest neighbors to the sample. Then we perform the majority voting on the k-nearest neighbors. So based on the majority of the class, we are going to determine the new class. So look at the steps. So at first we are identifying the k nearest neighbor with the help of uh, Euclidean distance. Then we uh, count the number of uh, data points among the k belongs to the category, belongs to the particular category. Then, so based on the Majority, we are going to decide the category of the new data points. Let us take a very simple example to understand uh, this k nearest neighbor algorithms. Here, I take uh, a data set uh, which has two categories or classifications. So, here uh, um, the classes are represented by the blue and uh, green dots. And okay, I take the new data points which is uh, represented as the orange point in our graph. So I would like to design the category for the new data points according to the k nearest neighbor algorithms. Let us assume uh, the value of the k is 5 for this example. So I have to find out the five closest data points to the new data points. So I have to measure the distance between the new data points to all other data points in this graph. So based on the distance, I identify the five closest data points to the new points. So the second graph shows the five closest data points. Among the five closest neighbors, two belongs to category four and three belongs to category. So clearly, um, the category A points are very close to the new points compared to the category B. So the suitable category for the new data point is category A. So the majority of the of its the new point data points neighbors are belongs to are belonging to category A. So the new data points where belongs to category A according to the k-nearest neighbor algorithm. Look at the advantages of k-nearest algorithms. First one is it's very simple. Anybody can understand and they, we, they can implement it easily. Second one is it's adaptable. So whenever the new data point is added into the data set, its category can be decided easily as well as quickly. And it is easy to implement. But look at the limitations of uh, k-nearest neighbor algorithms. 
the first problem is scalability. It needs a lot of memory as well as storage. So it requires more resources for its implementation. Then the dimensionality of the data set will affect the k nearest neighbor. The last problem with the k nearest neighbor is it is vulnerable to overfitting problems. So if you choose the lower value of k, then it will affect the suitability of the algorithms for the data set. So it leads to overfit. If we select the high value of higher value for k, then it smooth the problem, smooth the prediction values. But it also affects the outcome or the performance of the algorithms. So choosing the correct uh, k is essential for the efficiency of this k nearest neighbor algorithms. Thanks for watching this video.